guys, what's going on? My name's Adam, go around a bit and welcome to the machine for a change. This is a coin pusher, or I guess you could say coin machine. One of many coin machines on my channel, okay? And let's begin with a 360 degree view. It's actually quite heavy itself, it's maybe blue. You've got a bit ugly bit on the back, it's a 32 by 32 plate, and you know, two studs would have made all the difference, but LEGO don't make plates that big. Yeah, little side view, and with the front view. We'll run over some quick details. We've got a dollar sign there, and we've got a pound sign here. Pound obviously being British, dollar sign obviously being American. We've got two little holes in the bottom, which you will see later why they exist. And we have some sort of festival carnival lights at the front. Some slopes for the coins to come out, and some slopes on the side just for extra detail. The thing is polished round sides with their tiles, including along these back pieces here. They just need not the build. There's a switch for the battery box and the motor, which you'll see in a minute. This top here is tiled, it is black, which, which makes a nice sort of pattern. Slopes down the side also give a nice pattern. This frame here has a bit of rounded slopes, you know. Again, gives it a nice sort of rounded look. We've got four panes of six white glass, you know, which allows you to see in the back with the Technic pins. Some coin pushers, you just have the coins that go straight down, and it's not really that exciting. However, here, it's going to hit all these obstacles on the way down. There are, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there's a sort of slot there that's one stud thick, which will allow coins to drop down. We'll begin by turning it on with a little switch. And we've won a coin already. shall stop that because it's quite an irritating noise. Now, as you can see, some coins have fallen out. So there you go. We have won 12 pence. We're obviously from the UK, so this is English money. Okay, so that's basically how it works. The coin goes down. This, I don't know, this tray, this sort of platform, if you like, moves back and forth. The gap in the back there stops coins from going too far back, like the coins are only too, too high, you know, not two studs, I mean two coins. And the rest of them get pushed forward. Once that pushes forward, it pushes them onto the second ledge, which pushes them out of the machine. It's quite an arcade style machine, and I quite like it. Alright, so that's the money that we've won, we'll put that to the side. Now if we get... Just got it the chief key it's just a simple 1x6 plate on a 1x6 tile if we place it in those holes that you were wondering about earlier and we wiggle it around one hell of a lot you can open it up and you've got a coin same for the other side I would put them in fully normally but I'm going to show you the mechanism in just a second We've got another coin sat on the tray. They go in and they fit flush on the side. Shall we take a look at the mechanism? Obviously that coin got stuck, it wasn't really supposed to go there. 
I completely forgot. We'll have a quick look at the mechanism of these pieces here. So we'll just remove these tiles and we'll lift that bit up. Trying to keep as much down as possible. As you can see, the coin will come down here. It'll slide under the tray and it'll fall in this tray, which you can put right there. There you go. Runs on two tiles. There you can see the tiles around. It's not so nice and flush. Let's take that out again. Let's take a bit more out. You can see this mechanism working. This goes in. Pushes the tray out, and I've absolutely destroyed it. <laughs> right, move round. So do that stuff. Move round to this top piece, which just disconnects. We'll take the coin out. Underneath there is a load of technique pins based on this technical wall. Yeah. So coin with a ding, hit that, down there, etc. Now for the actual motor mechanisms. Ding. Nice easy pop lid. Right in there. Just like grip. So, motor in there, won't go underneath, this rotates this, bar is down there, which moves this platform up. If I get this motor up, push, you can see that there goes round. It's not supposed to push the wall, but things happen. There we go guys, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Oh, that's good.